Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on varying effect in our game. So here if I time my blocking as you can see the enemy staggers back see like that which allows me to do more damage to the enemy like this let me like that so if i keep the block input pressed as you can see here uh, no staggering back happens so no parrying happens basically it happens only if i time my blocking like this okay so this is what we are going to work on today and here as the reference i am using assassin's creed valhalla combat system here as you can see see did you see notice that little particle effect that we got when the character get parried like that so that's what i want to implement i still haven't implemented the stun attack system it's just the parry over here that's the effect okay so let's see how to implement that today and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have implemented in my channel once you become a patreon member you can download anything without a limit feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description and also this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system tutorial series i'm doing i keep adding more and more episodes that covers more and more features for action rpg game so you can watch all these episodes in my channel i'll leave the link to the full tutorial series in the description and let's get back to today's tutorial All right, so first of all, let's go to our blueprints, abilities, and let's create a new gameplay effect for parry. Print class, play effect. I'll call it GE parry. Now, here, let me open it and let's add a new component and a target tag gameplay effects com effect component now expand this here under added tags now I need to define a new tag to show that the character has the parent ability so maybe let's do it here ability parry okay and i'll select that now when this gameplay effect is added to the character character will have this parry ability and for the duration policy i'll make it has duration and this should not be too easy so i'll make it 0.4 so that it would be uh, only after you press block input only for 0.4 seconds the character will retain the parry ability so the character should uh, the player should time when to press block input to activate parry okay now let me open my character blueprint and when the character press block input it should be here block let me add a comment so that i can easily see that so once the character press block i'll add the ability system component apply gameplay effect to self 
Now here I'll choose GE Barry. All right. Now the next thing is when the character get hit, we have this hit react abilities. So it's your choice if you want to may implement enable parry in only for light attacks or if you want you can implement it for both heavy attacks and light attack so for now i'll demonstrate this with the light attacks so let me open the light attack ability and here this path takes place if the character has blocked in a character has blocked the attack character has player has play, press the block input so here now if we are already blocking we can check if the character has the parry available so here get ability system component and contains has any matching gameplay attacks as the tag I'll make parry so this part will check if parry is available here if this is false we don't need to do anything but if this is true here we need to activate uh, parry on the attacker so that would mean something like a stagger ba staggering back effect with some particle effect just like in as a reference in Valhalla I want to have some kind of a particle effect here okay so for this I need to implement in order to call it here I need to implement a separate ability to show the parry reaction or staggering for that here let's create a new gameplay ability and I'll choose GACLM as the parent I'll call this GA parry react okay now here we need to basically play the stagger back animation so here play montage let's try this one and as the montage i already have a staggering animation montage which i used for heavy attack reactions let me show it this animation the character is pushed a little back so I'll apply this and also I need to show the particle effect also here so yeah no let's first only play this let's have a delay also for one second and then and ability just let's just see if this works and here I'll also apply gameplay effect to owner oh, no, not this one I need to stun the character so get avatar actor from actor info get ability system component and apply gameplay effect to self right and here I'll add the stun stun heavy um, gameplay effect mm. all right and as to activate this 
I'll set the ability parry ability tag as parry and block tag well if the character is dead we don't we don't need to activate this so I'll add this too as the block tag and yeah so in order to activate this we need to add this GA parry react as a default ability so GA parry react and now that I have added this as a default ability here GA hit react sword light now I can get access to the instigator from this line and here get ability system component so this line is basically from this i'm activating this gameplay ability through this activate ability from event here i have access to instigator so on the instigator i can call get ability system component and activate ability by tag so the tag should be a literal gameplay tag parry right now this part is block and parry Let's test if this is working. If it is working, uh, the character enemy should stagger back if I time my blocking just before he land the attack. Let's see. Yeah, it is working. And the next thing we need is some particle effect. Actually, I have already created a particle effect for this purpose. NS Parry. This is the particle effect. So it's just a simple particle effect. I don't want to go into details of how this is created, but it's just a sprites, a set of sprites that uh, burst from the middle. So let's spawn this on the character's location. We already have this get avatar actor. Let's first try the actor location. And spawn system at location. Right, and the system is parry. Um, let's just leave maybe this auto release. All right, now let's see how it looks. Yeah, nice. So once he is staggered, we can land attacks. Oh, yeah. So if I keep the keep my character blocked, as you can see, parrying is not happening. But if I time the blocking, parrying happens. All right. Let me land a high heavy attack. Okay, so that's actually all I wanted to do for this episode. So thanks for watching. Feel free to let me know what else, what features you guys would like me to cover. And also if you notice any problems, bugs, anything, just feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll try to fix them in upcoming episodes. And yeah, as always, updated project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye